away here, you know, you've seen a lot of spring games over the last few years in this program. Does this year feel any different than last year, years past? Um, I think we've, you know, we've really been getting after it this spring. You know, we've been padded up a lot, and so I think that, you know, that's going to be the story on Saturday. I don't think Coach Smith's going to hold anything back. I think we're going to go out and we're going to, you know, go hard and treat it like a game. Have you gotten any indication about what the formatting might be? I know Coach Lindgren said that you know, it's a pretty banged up roster up there. Yeah. And the idea that they're going to make you guys go 11 on 11 or kind of do it formatted a little more like last year? Yeah, I haven't heard anything format. You know, I don't, I don't get to make those decisions. <laughs> Another decision you can't make, obviously, is who's going to start at quarterback. What advantage would it be to go into the summer knowing that you're the one? Um, you know, I think that there's there's advantages, you know, to either way. You know, you leave it open, guys get to compete, and if you close it off, then you know, that guy can kind of step up as a leader himself. But I think that that's how we're all going to try to treat it. You know, like we're going to be the number one. I know that's how I'm looking at it, regardless of you know what's get announced or not. So I'm going to come into the, to the summertime workouts and act like I'm the guy, and you know whatever happens happens. Is the guy is the, is, is the guy is he the one that leads all the, the workouts or? Um, yeah. I would say so, yeah. Kind of getting everyone corralled up and, and doing things when the coaches aren't around and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, I know when, when Coach Lindgren was out in Colorado, you know, he'd, he'd like to prefer the experience of a, of a quarterback who had been there for a few years and with Seth Alupo, you know, when he looks at you, he kind of mentions the same thing, having the, you know another year of experience in the system. Do you feel like you have a bit of a leg up because you've had a year in and, and real game experience in Coach Lindgren and Coach Smith's system? Yeah, I would say so. I would say that anyone that has experience you know, in a system has a leg up, and so I think that definitely helps, but I know that you know Tristan and Jack and those guys, you know, they're pushing to compete, and so you know, the, the experience thing isn't going to you know, win you the job you know, come that first Saturday, so it's just going to be about working hard and, and winning the spot. Seen any improvement in the pass pro so far this spring? Um, today, you know, we put a lot of a lot of emphasis on kind of the play action stuff, the longer protection, and and you know we saw some improvement today. It's kind of some new stuff we're putting in, but I think the line's doing a great job. So yeah. Any wide receivers that have kind of s stepped up a little bit? I, know I saw Colby out there, and I saw, and, you know, with Trayvon out, it seems like you know, there's going to yeah. need to be some th guys three, four, five in the depth chart that are going to need to come up here. Yeah, and I, I think there is. You know, I think with with Isaiah kind of taking the last, you know, week to get right, and Trayvon out, and I think Champ kind of took it easy today. So there's been some guys stepping up, and they've done a really good job. You know, with Gould and, and Josiah, and, and you know, all those guys are doing a really good job. How would you say your timing is with those younger receivers? Um, Namely, like Anthony Gould, Josiah Irish, those guys. Yeah, I mean, I think it's improving every day. Um, you know, there's there, that one at the end to Josiah deep post and underthrew him a little bit, and that's something that's just gonna, you know, get better with time and something that you know we got to work on. But I think overall, it's it's been really good. How do you feel like your guys' level of conditioning is with all the injuries? Next man up, obviously, but some of those guys haven't seen the field a whole lot. How does that level of conditioning stay up? Um, I mean, Coach Matt gets us right. You know, all winter we were working on, you know, kind of getting explosive and, and making sure we were in shape come spring ball and, and I think that you know we have and I think that you know the young guys like I said they've done a really good job coming in and kind of getting thrown into the wash and having to you know play college football. You know? Can you kind of talk about uh, Jamar and just the job he's done developing his pass blocking skills this spring? Um, I mean I, th I think he does a good job I think you know he's there's sometimes you know there's some backs that's kind of not their thing and, and I think a lot you know a lot of our backs do a really good job you know I think AP and, and BJ and all those guys they don't they don't mind stepping up you know in the pocket and, and you know sticking a guy so I think they all do a really good job. Having it be a running back by committee like that does that make things any different and you know not having I guess one consistent guy in pass bro who you know is going to be back there it's always kind of a different look whether it be AP, Jamar, or BJ? Yeah but I mean that's kind of my point I think all three of them they do a good job you know there isn't there isn't one that's you know head and shoulders above the other and one that's kind of a liability you know sometimes you can have that and, and I think they all do a really good job